Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. And I'm Drew. And this is a very special occasion because this is officially our 100th episode of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. We saw this coming for a while and like thinking, what could we possibly do to celebrate the 100th episode? It's got to be something spectacular and special. We had plans of getting tuxedos and showing you clips, but we realized that that would be kind of redundant and over the top and kind of self-absorbing so Everybody we just yes we decided to go in the traditional way why change the formula is we're here to talk about what we want to talk about now we're talking about post-apocalyptic letdown zombie we're on our way to Drew's house Superman five wonderfully horrible horror films you need to see before you die Batman tonight we're gonna go see my buddy Drew vampire movies no. we're here at Annie's yeah. latest premiere of the Next Door it's a comic book Show. In search of Jay and Silent Bob. Comic Con 2010. Rock and Show. Halloween. Black, Black Friday. Friday. We need a robot. Now that the holidays are over, what the hell can I possibly watch for a horror and sci fi fix? I'm waiting for the Days of the Jetsons. The top 10 kick ass chicks with big guns. Five more wonderfully horrible horror films you need to see before you die. I the am the Leprechaun! Leprechaun. <laughs> Road Trip of Terror 2! Yes, we're nerds. That's right, Spider Man himself. I'm strange. In the neighborhood. We're talking about good old fashioned TV, science fiction TV shows that are, well, not only iconic, but that we enjoyed watching even today. Boston Comic Con! We're out to get some tacos. Cat of the Rubber Puppets. Great old-fashioned sci-fi. Tonight, we're talking about survival. Re-D. Kill Ox. Alien Invasion. Bring it home, baby. I'm coming to get you, Barbara. On our way. Stephen King's house. And we're talking about homemade costumes for comic conventions. We are talking about great creature attacks. How to throw a killer slumber party. Another five wonderfully horrible horror film that you need to see before you die. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Who's laughing now? It's time to get serious about trying to find a costume. Great haunted house rocket shop. 20 11. We are back in the same spot as episode one. Now mm -hmm. here at the bar behind the screaming room here in Andy Land. Yeah. And we're talking about the one thing that this entire TV series was just dedicated to showcase and that is what guys want to see. Sci-fi geeks, horror fans. There's lots of stuff that we've already seen in the show that we've actually really liked. What, in your opinion, is something you like to see in a horror film? I want to see a girl covered in blood wearing, you know, her underwear, chasing a guy down with a chainsaw. Interesting. Angry woman blood. Yeah. I go a little bit more simple simple. I like when a woman says got a nice rack. Paranormal activities, the best part of that movie. <laughs> what straight guy in this country was watching him? Yeah, he was funny, but he got to be a dink really quick. Uh, and the whole time you're watching that movie, you're thinking, what the hell is she doing with him? One of my favorites in that vein right there is Silk Spectre, when she finally revealed her costume Holy in The Watchmen. Moly. That's what we're talking about. You sit through two hours of that movie until you finally see her come out in that smoking kind of you get that swish swish walk and yes you know it, it's a it's a payoff it, i agree it was worth it another thing that guys like to see in movies are explosions let's be honest i mean these are kind of cliche yes the women the boobs and the explosions but you know what 
We're simple creatures. That's how Michael Bay made his money. Why are we scripting reality shows when television and movies are made to escape reality? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, listen, if I want to see women bitch to me on TV, I'll watch Bridezilla's. I won't. Men want zombie hunter strippers. Interesting. Men want cheerleader zombie samurai hunters. You kind of hung up on the zombie. I was thinking more like cheerleader aliens. Oh, okay, cheerleader alien hunter. Like decoys. Mm. Mm. Of course, they have to give like the scientist role to the hottest chick in the room. You have to. It's a sci-fi channel. And original. all you do is just throw a pair of glasses on her. Meanwhile, she does it in a bikini. Not of this earth. With what's her face there? Um, making 84, 84 yes. remake of um, Not of this earth. With what's her name? I remember. Oh, she's blonde and she's famous. I remember some Tracy other Lords. aspects. Yes, Tracy Lords. Tracy Lords. Men don't care about plot. Not all the time. Not all the time. Plot is a good thing to have, occasionally. The plot helped a movie like The Watchmen because it was yeah. like nine hours long. Yeah. And most part, you just kind of want to see what you want to see. Now, let's be honest. That's why they have the type of woman in commercials that they have. You pick any channel network. All these Macy's ads. What do the women look like? They don't look like your neighbor. They don't look like Rose McGowan in Planet Terror. No. They look like Rose they... McGowan at the beginning of Planet Terror. Guys don't have barbed wire in their DVD collection because... The plot's good. The plot's good. They <laughs> want... There's a couple of reasons they guys watch that movie. There, there are three reasons. Boobs, <laughs> bombs, and lots of bullets. It's as simple as that. There's a reason TV shows are King of Queens. They got the fat guy with the hot wife. Mm -hmm. Where does that happen? Uh, Television. It's a fantasy. <laughs> you know, and it's not all just about women. It's about... Sometimes it's just about playing gore, blood, and violence. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you just you, sometimes you, you just want to see a zombie get his head blown off. Yeah. Very simple formula. That's it. Oh, you know what else guys want to see? Is a kick-ass car. A vehicle. Yeah. A motorcycle. If it flies, it's got to be cool. If it's a motorcycle, it's got to be mean. And if it's a car, it's got to kick ass. It's got to have guns. Yes. Talking about Black Beauty. Oh, yeah. the black beauty. Yeah. It's beautiful. From the when whether you like the movie or not, the Green Hornet, you gotta admit that car is awesome. What else do you want to see in a kick-ass car? What else do you want to see in a kick-ass kick paint job? It, it's got it's gotta have something really hot about it. Like it's gotta have uh, missile headlights. rockets, it's gotta have machine guns, it's gotta have like an injection seat, kinda See, like this is why guys like him love the James Bond films. Yeah. Because they, they have all these elements. There you go. James Bond, perfect example of a guy movie. What do you got? Guns, gadgets, girls. And you know what? It even works both ways because it's usually the James Bond is a good looking guy, so if you can tolerate your significant other's company during one of the films. It's your golden. I don't watch it for him. Sci-fi. Simple gear creatures, you know? Star Wars and Star Trek sci-fi. What do these women look like? What do these guys look like? Exactly. What did Captain Kirk do every episode? Why did people watch Buck Rogers? For the deep-rooted plots? No, they watched it for the tight outfits. The Seriously. tight spandex. And, of course, there's a cool robot. Beedy, 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 beedy. You know, hey, Buck. And there were spaceships. This thing flew. See, it all goes back to a very simple formula. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. And this is our 100th episode of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. Don't worry, there's plenty more to come. See you next time. Good night.